What's up, world? It's Wednesday. Another day. Wednesday. That's a first. You know, I'm reading through my comments on Facebook, y'all, and someone said, they storm, I challenge you to step outside your comfort zone. And instead of writing a song or a rap, I want you to tell a story. A compelling story. But the challenge was to use the eight colors in the crayon box. Now, I could have killed his challenge and went with the common eight, you know. But instead, I chose the latter and went with the 64. Let's see how I did. Once upon a time, there was a guy named Mr. Red who met a lady named Violet on his way home, she said. I live, I live in the house with the white picket fence. They both lived on Chestnut, so it only made sense that people started seeing a lot more of the two, and they did their best to turn each other's gray sky blue. <laughs> but it was bittersweet because Mr. Red had a spouse who kicked him out the house when he couldn't take her mouth. Her name was Yella Brown, known all over town. Even the black guys loved the way she got down. Had the perfect tan like mahogany brown Only wore silver, never gold when she would come around She was from the West Area Orchard Street is where she came up All about the money She only see green, so you better set your game up See, Mr. Red loved Violet But Yellow had his firstborn A marvelous peach named Scarlet Whose nickname was rightfully Orange Violet moved in with Red Orange remained with Yellow she was growing up fast and eventually met a fella. His name was Sam Green. He drove the blue pickup, delivering wild strawberries and apricots from the back of his fruit truck. He had plums, melons, even Granny Smith apples. You know, the ones that were brick red and grew the size of robin eggs. Then one day, Yella saw Sam and Orange making out in the forest. Green began to panic and decided to run for it. Hey, I caught you, here. yelled Yella. Orange, you better stop seeing a boy. This burnt orange up inside made her blue. Green was her pride and joy. Her life began to tumble, weed and alcohol would come to be. Her escape to the dandelions and purple mountain majesties. Green, yellow, yellow, green, scarlet so confused. Sam became a timber wolf, put papers in to go to school. Poor orange was sitting wait for him, writing love letters. Till the magenta in the printer was gone and she was fed up. She's 18 now, Miss Yellow Brown don't understand what's wrong with her. So she gave up up on orange and had her father come and get her. His little scorn flower has become a periwinkle. Baby, from a tickle me pink and lavender dress to her eyes no longer twinkle. Her carnation pink skirt became blue jeans and a shirt. She even got a few tattoos hoping they would cover the hurt. See, Mr. Red worked for Pacific Blue PD and thought maybe Sam abused her. He put on his turquoise blue and hopped in his police cruiser. Searching everywhere for Sam as time passed, Mr. Red's anger grows. Then finally a young cadet blew by wearing street clothes. It was young Sam Green speeding back to see Orange. See, he only received one letter. The rest will return without him knowing. So that spring green decided to come back. Meanwhile, Violet was spring cleaning and found the letters in the back. She was in the middle of cooking asparagus, macaroni, and cheese. Then Sam finally reached the house, not knowing he was followed by the police. Violet read the letters and they blew Violet's mind. Sam saw her reaction, guess he read Violet's mind. Then Officer Red grabbed his gun he likes to call the golden rod. Yelled to the young cadet, sir, you lean back in the car. Young Sam was confused, so he went for his sidearm. As Violet it screamed, stop, you have the story all wrong. Orange heard the confusion and ran out the front door. Too late. The startled cadet and vet both shot her to the floor. I ain't even gonna lie to you. This joint took forever. Do you know how long it took to organize all these colors? Tickle me pink. Purple Mountain Majesty. Do you know how long it take to draw all these pictures? It's pages and pages of this stuff. It's not like I'm in the fourth grade where you get the little fat husky pencil and those fat unbreakable crayons and you just get the color I'll be drawing and coloring no more y'all and then you had to go and get the, the crayons and stuff remember the little sharpener that they had on the back it was dope son yo I'm, I'm gonna see y'all on Friday I'll update y'all about the shoes keep your ideas coming in if you missed my last video it's right there all the snail rail folks I still haven't made it to the post office ah I'm gonna go this week I'm gonna go no matter what I'm gonna make it these dead on pictures. Took to have a Look at all these pictures. It's like a lot of stuff. I'll see y'all on Friday. I'm gonna go out and get my workout in. <laughs> you out.